as soon as you break on that boundary, they know, hey, if they can break on that boundary, they can break on any boundary. Hey guys, Raw Motivations here. Uh, ben Taylor just coming at you. Just want to be able to talk to you about a couple different things today. Um, if you don't follow me on here, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, would love to have you interact with me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Got several other things going on with the podcast. Also, if you're coming out of a narcissistic abusive relationship and you want to have some help and support along the way, uh, reach out, click on the links for the NARC app. Uh, there's an app from rawmotivations.com where you can go on, download that app, get connected with community, other people who are dealing with the same type of stuff that you're dealing with, and also be able to do different lessons and have different activities that will actually help you process different aspects about the narcissistic relationship that you were in. Anyways, I want to talk today about testing boundaries. Narcissists love to test boundaries. You see, a boundary for a narcissist is literally like you're casting out this big wall, this big project, this big thing, and they're like, wow, that's something that I need to break. That's something that I need to abolish. That's something that I need to conquer. You see a boundary for a narcissist, boundaries without consequences are just speed bumps for a narcissist. Now the reason why is because if you don't have a set consequence behind that boundary, a narcissist is going to blow through that boundary every single time. Every single time. And the thing is, when they blow through that boundary and you don't follow up with consequences and you let them back into your life, they realize over a period of time that your boundaries didn't mean that much. And as a result, they can keep doing it over and over and over again. So for a narcissist, a boundary is like a challenge. It's like something that they can go for, something that they can try to win conquer, beat at. And so when you set a boundary out, when you say, hey, this is my boundary, that just became a challenge. You just threw down the gauntlet. You just threw the glove out and said, hey, this is the challenge today, and that's don't break this. Have you ever had that moment where someone's like, I just made cookies, don't eat a cookie? What do you want to do? You want to eat a cookie. You, you see a big flashing red button, and someone says, don't press that button. You have that instinct. I want to press that button. You throw a boundary out in front of a narcissist, and literally it's like baiting a narcissist of like, don't break this boundary. They're going to want to break it every single time because it's something that they feel is limiting them. It's limiting what they wanna do. It's limiting what they wanna feel, what they wanna be, what they wanna experience. It's limiting them, and they don't like that. Narcissists don't like boundaries. So whenever my wife would give a boundary of like, hey, I want you to stop talking to this person, or hey, I think you're getting a little too close to this person, or hey, you need to be careful of how you're coming across because this person, you're getting too close, you're gonna set off the wrong vibes to this person, I'd be like, okay, sure, and then i go do it. Because as a narcissist, I wanna be able to break that boundary, not just for the purpose of breaking it, but that sometimes that's true. But the other purpose is because it is something that is encroaching on me. It's something that you're telling me what to do. Like, I don't think so. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's the ultimate idea of rebellion and pushing back because a boundary is just that. A boundary is what a narcissist views as being a cage, as being a prison. That's the difference between a narcissistic relationship and a healthy relationship is a view of boundaries. You see, with a boundary in a healthy relationship, it's not viewed as a prison. It's viewed as protection. But with a narcissist, a boundary is viewed as a prison. It's viewed as something that they're the victim, that they're the person that can't get what they want, that can't do what they want, and as a result, they're going to try to break it as much as possible. So what you'll see is typically three different things with a boundary with a narcissist. One, they'll test it. They'll come up to that boundary. They'll get as close as they can. Literally, we're talking like the little kid kind of thing of like, don't touch that. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Okay. You'll have a narcissist that literally will get up to the boundary as close as possible because they want to see your reaction. They want to see, they're trying to gauge the playing field. I'm going to get as close to this boundary as I can to be able to see how my partner is going to respond to it. They didn't really say anything. I got super close. Let me get a little bit closer. Not say anything. All right. Let me go up right up to it. Not say anything. All right. Let me tap that. Yep. Not say anything. And they'll keep testing those boundaries until you let them break through. 
The other thing, the second thing, is a narcissist will just plain up break boundaries. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they don't worry about them. Maybe that's that's their conquest. So I'm going to break this boundary no matter what. They can't tell me what to do. Blah blah. blah. Like they're going to break those boundaries. They're going to test them. They're going to break them. The third one is one of the most manipulative ways, and that's when they have you break the boundaries. One of the most common ways that a narcissist will get you to break the boundary is through intimacy. Some people will say, hey, I don't want to do this. I don't want to have sex right now. I don't want to kiss you because of my past. I don't want to do this. And people will set a boundary. They'll set a boundary, a line in the sand saying, hey, this is as far as we are right now. Right now we're just friends. Oh, okay, well, I'm falling in love with you and I want to marry you. Boom, boundary broken. You start to see boundaries get broken super fast in narcissistic relationships because of the fact the goal is getting to the end as quick as possible, is locking in that supply of making sure that they are stuck and there's no way out. So the narcissist will do so many different things to be able to break a boundary. The ultimate win for a narcissist is when you who set the boundary are the one that breaks it. Like I said, this often happens in intimacy where you'll set a line of, hey, I'm not comfortable in you calling me this. I'm not comfortable in us doing this. I'm not comfortable in going this far. I'm not comfortable in introducing you to these people, whatever it might be. The narcissist will manipulate and and twist everything as much as they can to the place where you finally break your own boundary And that's like an ultimate win for the narcissist because it means they manipulated you enough to the place where you didn't stay strong enough to hold that boundary. And as soon as you break on that boundary, they know, hey, if they can break on that boundary, they can break on any boundary. And then they'll push everything. Narcissists love to break boundaries. Those boundaries are a challenge. Those boundaries are something that they want to conquer. It's a conquest. It's the next mountain to climb. It's the next hill to get over. So that race to win, the next person to defeat, literally a boundary so many times for narcissists is just that. So you might be thinking, like, what's even the purpose of boundaries? Like, am I just, like, making it worse? Am I just goading them on? Now, here's the thing you have to realize. The, a lot of times on social media and with a lot of different pr- platforms, people say boundaries, 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 and you hear that a lot of times. Typically, two things are missing. One, people talk about boundaries, but they don't talk about consequences. Second, they talk about boundaries in terms of the narcissist. Okay, so I want to be able to clear this up really quick. Number one, boundary has to have a consequence. Like I said before, a boundary without a consequence is just a speed bump for a narcissist. So if you're coming out saying, I got all these boundaries, I got all these boundaries, okay, how did you follow through? If you didn't follow through, it's not a boundary. You just showed the narcissist how to abuse you more. If you didn't follow through with a boundary, with an actual consequence, with something that changed because of them breaking that boundary, then they're going to break every single boundary that you have anymore to the point where you have no boundaries. There are no limits. And you'll see it get worse and worse and worse and worse. From emotional to physical to whatever it's going to be, it will continue to accelerate forever if you don't have boundaries in place. And if you don't have consequences to back them up. So many times people talk just about boundaries, but they never talk about consequences. If you don't follow through with a boundary, it does no good. If you're going to go into a relationship and set a boundary with no intention of following through, then don't set a boundary. It's pointless. It literally is pointless. Boundaries need to have consequences. Number two, boundaries are for the narcissist. Okay? That's normally the message that you hear, whether that's a conscious message or like subliminally underneath the surface, everybody's saying boundaries are for the narcissist. I want to tell you right now, boundaries are not for the narcissist. Boundaries are for you. Because remember when I talked about boundaries for a minute ago, I said the narcissist is going to view boundaries as a prison versus a healthy relationship. Boundaries are going to be viewed as protection. That is what a boundary is for you. A boundary, here's the easiest way to hear hear it. A boundary is you deciding what level you're going to go to, or a boundary is you deciding how much shit you're going to put up with. That's what it is. It's you saying, hey, my level, my cap is here, and it's not going to go any further than that. If you're not going to get help, I'm leaving. If you're not going to be honest, I'm leaving. If you're not going to do X, Y, and Z, 
I'm leaving, or I'm doing whatever, whatever the consequence is. But the boundary is not to limit them, is not to control them, is not to make them fit in a certain box. Because if you, if you, if you view it that way, if you focus on putting them only in a certain box, then all you're going to get is just conformity. Outward conformity that's not going to have any lasting change. So you have to think your boundaries that you're putting out there, your boundaries that you are adhering to, your boundaries are how much you're going to put up with. That's it. Boundaries are for you, not for the narcissist. So when you're thinking about setting a boundaries, make sure you set a boundary and you have clear consequences. Make sure that boundary is geared towards your protection and how much you're actually going to deal with before you say, hey, I'm out. Or before you say, hey, this is where the line stops. This is the boundary. This is the consequence that you're going to have because of your actions. Those boundaries are so important. So please make sure that you have boundaries in your life that are followed up by clear consequences.